Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm going to show you a technique to allow you to show the DAX measure code whenever you connect to a Power BI dataset. Now, typically, when you connect to a published model like this, you can see the fields, but not the DAX code. And now, with Tabular Editor, you can almost instantly update your model to add every measure's code to the description, giving you a result like this where the hover tooltip will show the code. Now, personally, I know this has a great added value to developers since they can now at least see what some of the logic or aggregations are going on in the model. Plus, this also very safely exposes the code so that you can make edits to the description. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So to start with, let's assume that this is a file that I want to split into a separated data set with multiple reports that connect to it. And I actually have a video that shows you how to split a report and data set fairly effortlessly and without code. So I'll have a link to that over on the pop out on the right and down in the description. But for this scenario, as I'm mentioning, what I would like to do is I want to have a connected data set. And the issue with those when you connect to a connected data set in the Power BI service or an analysis services model is you cannot select any of the measures and get the actual code up here out of it. All you have is the option to consume it in the wells and basically make visuals off of it. So I want to know is how do I really quickly and easily get the code out of the measure itself or the expression and then put it into the description that would show up when you have a hover pop up. Now I could go one at a time, copy this, go over to the model and go to the DAX folder and go to any of the measure and then paste it one at a time into the description. If I did that, let's just say, typed in some notes in here and I went back to the report and the page views. If I hover over that, you will see that that shows up in there, but that's a very time consuming process. So now what we can instead use is an external tool called Tabular Editor. Now, if you're not familiar with Tabular Editor or external tools, I'll have some links down in the description for you, but needless to say, they're very, very useful tools that often will help speed up the development process for you. So I highly encourage you to go check them out. And I'm gonna select Tabular Editor, and all I'm gonna do is go over to Advanced Scripting. I'm gonna paste a little bit of code that I have in here, and to better explain what this is doing, let me zoom in a bit. It's basically saying for each of the model measures, take the expression and have it put into the description. That's it. It's basically making them match each other, overriding the description here with the expression. And if I click run, there we go. 41 model changes basically means that it's updated to 41 measures. Hit file, save, and close, and check this out. If I come over here, the measure shows up in this one or any of these other ones, we now get the measure expression that has been automatically added to the description. We come over to the model view, take a look over here as well. We can see the description for each one of these has been updated. I mean, so simply just right, like it was instantly able to do this. So I've now just saved myself untold number of minutes. And this is just one of many expressions and automations that you could potentially do with Tabular Editor. So again, highly encourage you to go explore it. But this is one of my favorite really quick and easy tricks to do using that tool. And now let's go ahead and actually look at this in a new report. And if we went to get data, and I'm just going to connect to that after I publish it, again, assuming that I've taken that file, published it as a data set, so you can see the end effect of it. I just published it to my workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and look for Google Analytics in my local workspace, select Create, and you'll see that same effect. If I open my measures folder, go to any measure in here. If I was to go look at this, I don't get the formula at top, but I do get that description, which will show me the expression in there. So you can see a very nice and easy application, and it does add a lot of value to a model if you intend to use it as a connected data set with a gentle exposure to the model, with no way for them to alter any of these measures, but they can at least see where the aggregations and maybe some of the filters are coming from. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Plus, if this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. So until next time.